Picture two small emissaries each no larger than a car cast into the endless sea of space. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, launched in 1977, were built with one bold purpose, to travel farther than any human creation had ever gone. Fueled by the dreams of Earth and guided only by our curiosity, they ventured into the unknown, becoming humanity's most distant explorers. For decades they've silently crossed the solar system, passing the giant worlds of Jupiter and Saturn, sending back breathtaking views of swirling storms and shimmering rings. On board, each carries a golden record, our cosmic message in a bottle, etched with greetings, music, and the sounds of Earth for any intelligent life that might one day find them. Their mission was nothing less than historic, to be the first human-made objects to leave the cradle of our solar system and step into the vastness of interstellar space. They were tasked with crossing the heliopause, the invisible frontier where the sun's influence ends and the realm of the galaxy begins. To understand the Voyager's journey, we first need to explore the invisible structure they were designed to escape, the heliosphere. This enormous bubble surrounds the sun and every planet, created by the solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles rushing outward in all directions. It's a vast magnetic shield, stretching far beyond Pluto, that protects our solar system from dangerous cosmic rays and interstellar radiation. Inside this bubble, everything belongs to the sun's domain. Outside lies the Milky Way itself. Crossing the heliosphere means entering the true interstellar medium. The thin, ancient gas and dust that fills the galaxy. The Voyagers spent decades mapping this protective shell, slowly approaching its shifting boundary until they finally pierced it, tasting the breath of the galaxy for the first time. For years, Scientists imagined this boundary as a smooth transition, but the Voyagers revealed something far more chaotic. The heliopause is where the sun's supersonic wind collides with the slower, steady breeze of interstellar space, creating a turbulent, frothy buffer zone called the helio sheath. This region is constantly shifting, warped by changes in the solar wind and the pressure of the galaxy beyond. Crossing it wasn't just a technical milestone, it was a first step into an entirely new environment. Inside, nearly all particles originate from the sun. Outside, they are ancient travelers, cosmic rays that have wandered for millions of years from distant stars. The voyagers didn't just leave the solar system, they waded into an alien sea. Then came a shock no one predicted, a wall of fire. Instead of cooling near the edge, the plasma temperature soared to between 30,000 and 50,000 Kelvin, hotter than the sun's surface. This was the sun's final energetic outburst, a thermal barrier marking the edge of its realm. But how did the Voyager survive such heat? In space, temperature measures particle speed, but heat depends on how many particles strike you. Here, the plasma is incredibly sparse, a near-perfect vacuum. The probe's instruments recorded the temperature but the few particles present transferred almost no heat. It was the gentlest inferno imaginable. Beyond the wall of fire came another surprise. The interstellar magnetic field aligned almost perfectly with the sun's own. Scientists had expected a sharp change, instead the field seemed to blend seamlessly, hinting at a hidden connection between our solar system and the wider galaxy. This discovery challenges everything we thought we knew about cosmic boundaries. Are we influencing the galaxy more than we imagined, or is it shaping us in ways we still don't understand? These revelations have rewritten our map of the solar system's edge. It is not a calm shoreline but a wild, dynamic frontier, a place where heat, turbulence, and magnetic forces shape the meeting point of star and galaxy. The heliosphere is not just a shield, it's an engine, connecting us to the Milky Way. Understanding its structure is vital for protecting future deep space explorers and planning humanity's next steps beyond the sun's reach. As of August 4, 2025, the Voyagers still whisper faintly across billions of miles, their power is fading, and one day their voices will fall silent. But their journey has forever changed how we see our cosmic neighborhood. They've shown us that even at the edge of our sun's influence there are still wonders waiting to be discovered. Drifting onward, they carry our story. A golden record from a curious species on a small blue world. Their voyage continues, and so does ours. For the universe still calls, filled with mysteries yet to be found.